Hi, I'm Brendan. Installing a trailer hitch on your Mercedes GLC 300 can take you to some really fun places like camping and biking. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer almost anywhere in North America. Let's break down this install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. To begin our install, we're gonna be removing our exhaust tips by removing four bolts in total, two on each side, using a T40 Torx fit. Now to remove the exhaust tips, you're gonna push in and then pull down. Our next step will be removing the exhaust. We're gonna remove these three hangers, two here and one back here. Before we lower our exhaust, we're gonna support it with a strap. To remove our exhaust hangers, we're gonna use some soapy water and some exhaust removal pliers. Our next step will be removing these two 10 millimeter screws. I'm gonna be removing these with a 10 millimeter socket. Next, we're gonna be removing these two fasteners, one here, one on the inside of the wheel well using a flathead screwdriver. The base of the push pin may be a little tight compared to the other piece, so you may wanna use a trim panel tool. For our next step, we'll be pulling back on this piece of the panel here to reveal another push pin that we will be removing again with the flathead screwdriver. And this one may be difficult. We'll be repeating these steps on the passenger side of the vehicle by removing both the bolts and all three push pins. There's gonna be two more bolts that we need to remove using a 10 millimeter socket. One over here and one right under here. Our next step will be to re remove the lower piece of this fascia. You may find it easier to push a screwdriver into here and there's a little tab. You're gonna to wanna to throw some tape on the tip of your screwdriver as to not scratch some paint. And you're gonna to wanna to just kinda of wedge it in there until you can get that tab down enough to pull out just like that. You're just gonna to wanna to try and repeat this on most of them. And as you're doing this, you, if you have an extra set of hands, have somebody else hold the other side of the bumper as you get along, as there may be wiring still attached. Now we're gonna take our wiring and we're just gonna unclip it from our bumper. As you're working your way along this, you may come across these ties. We're just gonna cut them and replace them later. Our next step is gonna be removing the heat shield by removing 10 nuts using an eight millimeter socket.
Now once we have the bolts off, we can pull down this heat shield and then we're gonna trim and save for reinstallation. Our next step will be removing the bumper beam. Over here on the driver's side, there's gonna be two nuts, one on the top, one on the bottom. We're gonna be using an 18 millimeter socket to take those off. And then we'll be removing the same two nuts on the passenger side. And now that we have those four nuts off, we can now pull off the bumper beam. So your bumper beam may be a little tight like ours. To combat that, we have our crowbar and you're just gonna kind of wedge it on this side of it and just wiggle. And that should loosen up both sides. If not, just repeat the same process on the other side. So next, we're gonna line up our bumper beam supports with our hitch. And then you can kind of just rest it on these top supports. Our next step is to put the bumper beam back on. Once we have the bumper on, we can reinstall the nuts from before. Now that we have everything snugged up, we're gonna take an 18 millimeter socket with an extension and a torque wrench, and we're gonna to torque everything down. If you need the torque specifications, they'll be in a link down below. So now we're ready to put our heat shield back up, but before we can do that, we've gotta trim out a piece of our heat shield you can see here we've marked off the area already where we need to trim. You can find the exact dimensions in the instructions from before. And today we're gonna to be cutting ours with a air saw. Now that we have our heat shield trimmed, we can reinstall it. And now we're gonna be reinstalling all 10 of the nuts from before. And now we're just gonna snug these up with an eight millimeter socket. So now we're gonna be putting the bumper back on and reinstalling the hardware in reverse order. And then once you get to the zip ties, you're just gonna to wanna to put the wiring in to where it'll fit nice and snug, but still have some wiggle room. As you can see, we've also replaced both zip ties from the ones we cut off before.
get to this fastener here, once you've got everything clipped in, you're actually gonna have to go behind the bumper. Now we're just going to be reinstalling the exhaust hangers with some soapy water. And now we'll be removing the exhaust strap. And lastly, we'll be reinstalling our exhaust tips. With our hitch installed, we've pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some measurements. This is a two inch hitch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is five inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver is 12 and a half inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, Visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com. That wraps up our install. Thanks for watching.